Alright guys, welcome back to God's Country Shooting and Outdoors here at the range with a new friend of mine. He's going to be shooting a 68 Western. Can't wait to see how he does because I've got one identical to it to uh, get started shooting on. But today I'm shooting, uh, I, I put a short out about it. This is the Savage 110 Ultralight in 300 Winchester Short Magnum. <laughs> I love this gun. Uh, I've had it out to the range a couple of times, unless something drastically has happened in the last two weeks, this thing is, it's amazing. This is the first real carbon fiber barrel that I've, I've really got to really put to the test and shoot. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it, and uh, we're going to see how, I have three boxes today, Winchester, three different Winchester for Magnum. Wow. The hell different ammunition to try see how it does. But uh, so far this this rifle is amazing. Uh, I'm shooting a Bushnell Banner 2 uh, BBC. Uh, I was actually out here a couple of weeks ago and my camera died, but I, I was shooting 400 yards with it. Uh, the drop on this amazing trigger's good. Uh, anyway, really, really pleased with this rifle. Uh, man, is it sweet. Anyways, enough talking. I got 45 minutes before I got to go to church. Let's get into some shooting, okay? All right, so we're going to start out with the Remington Core Lock, uh, 150 grain in the 300 Winchester Short Magnum. I got three dots up there on the target, one inch dots. Uh, let's just start with the left to go left to right. Get the gun kind of set up for me a little bit. Go up a little bit. Plenty of power. Get in with real good. Sharp. The this trigger's a little light for me, but I'm still enjoying it. It's like it just barely over the one inch dot. So the next box is the Corlock tipped by Remington. 150 grain. All three of these loads are 150s. Uh, I hope when I start reloading, I'm, I'm definitely going to go up a little bit. Probably not more than 180, unless I go to uh, copper. If I go to copper, I might drop a little bit lower. But uh, let's see how this thing does with the four lot tip. Middle dot. Down on a gun like this for me, where I had to aim 
injury to my hand. Uh, too light is not good for me. I, I just can't feel it. Final group for today with this 300 Win Mag is the Winchesters. That's just the extreme point. It's the black ballistic tips. And uh, you know what they do? Far right. Struggling with the today. Watch this. It's right on the edge of one inch grade. It wasn't my best shot, but the chaos not the edge. Pressing time a little bit, getting ready for church, but uh Still funny. No, think with what that is. Let's uh, see if I can make this bell ring at uh, 200 yards with its ammo. Seeing as it shoots right to left pretty good. Let's go to 200 yards and see if I can make it. Thing ring. About three hundred. I guess about three. Three breakless around three ten, three fifteen, something like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to say that 400 probably is stretching. Wow. Fun with it, ain't we? That was a 10 inch gone. That's not bad. Especially for me. I'm going to call it good. This is an awesome gun. Very, very awesome gun. All right, guys, welcome back to God's Country Shooting and Outdoors. I want to finish up this 300 Winchester Short Magnum video by showing you the uh, results. I only had three cartridge types to shoot. Um, but anyways, I was pretty pleased with all three of them. And I still got some rounds to shoot, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to start reloading this cartridge. So... Let's start 
with the first ones that I shot. This is the Remington Core Lock, um, and as you can see, the group on it wasn't horribly bad at 1.36 inches. Um, I, I wasn't too uh, displeased with that. I do want to go ahead and go to the third group next. The third group was the Winchester. Uh, they did really, really good at 0.92 inch of a group. I can't get my right mm -hmm. here, but I was most impressed with. So if you can see, that is a pretty ragged group or hole with a group of 0.57 of an inch. So just under 6 tenths of an inch. Uh, that's that's pretty amazing. I, I really think that that gun could do that more often. And even if I couldn't reload uh, the Winchester uh, ammo or the Remington tipped ammo done really good and uh, would be a great factory load for that gun to keep shooting bullets, the Hornady SSTs, and see how they do with that. Anyways, I hope that you got something out of this video. I hope that you like it and that you'll come back and watch some more of these videos. Um, remember, uh, I, I need your prayers as I go to the prisons and the, the regional jails and stuff and try to preach and minister. Uh, in this last days, I, I really feel like we are there, but I really feel like we should be excited uh, for what God's called us to because you know uh, there's been times in my life where I thought man I wish I'd have been born in the 1800s or the early 1900s uh, when the deer hunting was you know prime and you had to really work for it and you know I, we've all probably that love the outdoors felt like that at some times but uh, we were born for this time and this day and this era and uh, I'm glad that God put me here at this time and uh, I'm glad to be with you guys sharing this and trying to share a little bit about Jesus Christ especially for those who do know him but if you don't know Christ as your Savior uh, he's well worth it well worth it best thing that I've ever I've ever done in my life and I'm glad to have him in my life so anyways until next time remember love God Love your family, love your country, and always love the outdoors, okay? Thanks. Bye.